Hello. How you doing tonight? Glad you're here. I think the uh, grandfather clock in the living room is doing a new silent mode thing because it didn't go off again, which is weird. I just completely ignored 1 a.m. Let's get to the intro song. Time to go live, time to go live, time to go live, it's time to go live. Time to go live, it's time to go live, it's time to go, time to go, time to go live. Time to go live. Thank you, Summer Savage, as always, for the intro tune. I did have a little bit of a nap tonight before I came on. Uh, woke up, went straight to my computer, been working ever since. Uh, took a little break to walk over to the neighbor's place. I had left some stuff over there and walked over to pick it up. And uh, we chatted for a little bit, and then I came home. And I did more work. And then I... Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, the folks came home and I helped bring groceries in and I fed the deer. Um, and then that was that. Back in front of the computer. It's been pretty much the entire day. Busy. Tomorrow promises more of the same. We chose not to... Um, Chose not to go out for Burger Monday tonight. Um, my neighbor wasn't feeling it. The other one is working a double for the next three days in a row, which is brutal. Uh, and she works in healthcare. So it ain't nice. It ain't nice. She's, she's going to be beat. She's got Thursday and Friday off. We're hoping to make some nice soup for her and they can come over on probably friday get some soup but uh yeah it's it's something it's something never a dull moment right no rest for the cricket let's say hi to some people shall we janet g is saying hi everyone hi good to see ya oh snap not first janet g beacha Nicole Yonker, thank you so much. Hi, good to see you there in South Africa. You like the hat? You like the hat, Janet G? It's a G-Dragon hat. Thank you so much. Uh, Jen Sissick, hi. I hope I said that right. Good to see you. Well, hello, Hef. Lord have mercy, DOA and Lara are lit and I'm loving it. I was losing it. All righty then. Very nice. Melody, hello. Good to see ya. Marla Dillard, hi. I did get a little bit of rest. It was a nice little nap. I just laid down for about an hour and it was delightful and really, really necessary. I needed that. Apostate Alex is here. Hef is saying, hey, Zeus Crisco. Kimberly Gabaldon, hello. Alan Valentine, hi, good to see ya. The international gang is gathering up, I'm telling you. Pamela S.P. Butterfly, hey, sweet pea. Summer Savage is here. Unstable Datum is here. Hello, Belf, good to see ya. Aloha, Mark Hardman. Good morning, Brian Lucas, good to see you. Moni69 is in here from Perth, Western Australia. Very nice. Smoke is back. Good to see you, Smoke. Welcome back. Miss Sunrise Dawn from North Georgia. Georgia. Daniel Sander. Hello. Hello. So we've got we've got Scandinavia in the Hizu. What? Shut up, Janet G. 
You saw GD at KCON in Los Angeles, one of a kind? Yes, sir, one of a kind. That's me. I didn't see him at KCON where he appeared with Missy Elliott, which was amazing because he did Nelyria with Missy. <laughs> And I'm stunned at that. But I did get to see all of Big Bang on the Maid Tour at uh, Staples Center. And that was pretty amazing. That was that was a bomb-ass show. And it made it even better that, uh, that we were in one of the luxury VIP boxes. Imagine VIPs in a VIP box. Kind of perfect. A little bit. A little bit. Do I, DOA and Lara are live with Tori. May have to do a replay crew on that one. Ooh. Oh, that, that sounds lit. Swatting in progress on Selfless Self's channel. They've cuffed two young guys that were just talking to Selfless and Mindy. Well, that blows. Sam. Hello, Christie's Boutique. Good to see ya. Do, do, do. Everybody saying hi to everybody else. I love, I love how sociable everybody is. Tonight was your burger night, Jason Pilbin. Well, I hope that you ate the hell out of it. Rock on with your burger night. I had taco leftovers. And you know what? I'm not mad about my decision because they were delicious. Even so close to Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday has started becoming a real thing in this house. Uh, ever since mom realized that if she just stays the F out of the kitchen and lets me cook, I will cook dinner on Taco Tuesday and she doesn't have to worry about it. So, you know. And last week I even did all the cleanup. You know, I mean, everybody wins in that situation, except, you know, dishpan hands over here. Greetings, Duchess Diana. Kelly B69, you've been sick. Well, I'm glad that you're back and I hope that you're feeling better, darling. Jay Kelly, you're sending love from Seattle. Very nice. Well, love right back to Seattle. I have some good friends in Seattle. Still haven't been there. Pacific Northwest is the only section of the country that I haven't actually been to. Falling asleep already, but had to stop in and say, hey, hey, Carrie Ann. Well, I'm glad that you stopped in, but get you some rest, ladies. Sleep sweet. Purple Groovy. Hello from SLC, yo. And that's not Salt Lake City. That's St. Louis City. Mo. Looking forward to our chats as apostate, Alex. I'm going to send you an email. Um, yeah, going to send you an email. Gizmo seems to be having a bit of a relapse. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Miss Sunrise Dawn. That's pretty much all of Scandinavia right there, Daniel Sander. But I only have one of you here right now. I don't have my Swedish people. I don't have... Uh, I don't have Maya in Norway, and you're in Finland, which means that I'm still missing Jazzy Girl Sarah because she's in Denmark. Or no, it's the other way around. You're in Denmark. She's in Finland. Prednisone is a hell of a drug. You ain't kidding, Smoke. Woo, damn. Let's see. Oh, everybody being all sociable. Gretchen, of course, I'm talking about food and you're popping up. Mmm, Taco Tuesday. Very nice. Uh, Kelly, you're better, but had to be away from screens and noise. Totally understandable. 173 days, y'all. Until SP's at sea. Set sail. Send me that email if you want to get in on it, because... Number one, I'm still looking for a roommate for our friend Trish, who's out in Maryland. She's uh, she's in her 50s. She's a nurse. She wants to, uh, she's taking classes so she can do pediatric oncology nursing, which, I mean, seriously, y'all. Um, she is a survivor of religious trauma, not at the hands of Scientology, but, you know, almost as bad, the Catholic Church, right? Um, 
without giving too many details, because that's not my story to tell. But she uh, she has given me permission to say certain things. Um, she's deaf in one ear, but she's getting cochlear implants. She loves, loves, loves to swim. And if you want to go and you're looking for a roommate, your deposit has already been offered to be paid for by a certain delightful gentleman here in the chat. So um, hit me up. Hit me up. I want both of you on the ship, both you and Trish. So let me know what's up. We'll get you booked. I got the deposit date pushed back to April 24th. Thank you, Carnival. So anybody that wants to go, I've still got cabins. Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit me up. Smut at gmail.com. All one word. And if you prefer a link, it's right down there in the description box. Ahoy, says Seventh Son. Good to see ya. Kim White, here she is. Hey, all. Good to see ya. Alan Valentine says, yes, the cruise is going to be great fun. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Question, do you have one of those thick anti-fatigue mats for the kitchen sink? We do. Yes, we do. The guys on Selfless's stream have been released. Fantastic. Good to see it. Hiya, Dawn Gloves. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Denmark is all I need. I disagree. We like having Jazzy Girl Sarah and Maya and all the others. I like having them around. The more the merrier. You know how this party goes. Summer Savage, our intro queen. I also chose leftover tacos and rice. Nice. I didn't go with the rice thing because keto, but yeah. Sykes be like, look up prodromal. And I'm just like, I will be the only one entering mines. Thank you very much. I hope you gave him a snap or two on your way out after you told him. We had rice, roasted veggies, and fried tofu, red onion, garlic, carrot, mushroom, grape tomatoes, zucchini, yellow squash, cauliflower seasoned with salt, pepper, paprika, and olive oil. Damn. You had a whole damn garden up in that piece. Anne Maria Plevier. Hello, it's raining here again. I just have to finish a duck house, though. Rain, rain, go away. Oh, right. Because you have ducks. I want to hug them. Y'all for reals go on the damn cruise, says Summer Savage. Yes. The cruise is going to be wild. It's raining like crazy in Denmark as well. Okay. Karen McAllister's here. Hey, hey, Chardonnay. How you doing? I'm glad that you're here. I mean, you're not wrong. As long as Hef is there, anywhere is going to be wild. That is the absolute damn truth. Lori, Lori, Lori. She's here. Hello. As a travel advisor, it's almost a crime that you've not been to the PNLB, PNW. So much to see and explore. Those of us in the Pacific Northwest can help you find places to visit. I'm sure that you can. You know, it's almost a crime that I also haven't been to San Francisco. I lived in L.A. for five years. I've been to Gilroy, but I haven't been to San Francisco. Barb says, I can go to Spokane and you'll take me on the A tour. Very nice. Good to know. Kristen Melinda. Hi. Good evening, morning, everyone. And good afternoon. SB, SB Fanny, please hit the like or the dislike. I would appreciate that very much. While you're here, please check to see if you're still subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, which is about 27% of you from what I understand, please don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And click for all notifications so that you know when my random ass goes online, which is 
about once a day, right around 1 a.m. Central Time. Well, here she is. God Morgan, Ms. Maya. Sometimes you just got to settle with what you got. Yeah, I don't know about that, Daniel Sander. I knew she'd show up. It always makes me happy when she does. Hi, all. I'm in catch up mode. That's all right. LA. Is it LA chameleon or La chameleon? Let me know. Let me know. I want to make sure that I'm shouting people out correctly. This chat seems to skew to the northern climbs, says unstable datum. We've already got two people who are in Australia and one in South Africa. So, I don't know. Do, do, do. Ducks don't really like hugs, which is very sad. That is sad. Daniel Sander is a Danish. Gentle rain in Trinidad, Colorado, but it's nice. All of Heather, or all of Janet G's ancestors are from Norway. Hi, everybody. Hi, Heather McLaughlin. So good to see you. I'm doing some invoicing, so we'll pop in later. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, damn. I made chicken fries of rice and two pans of lasagna today and deviled eggs. I'm tired. Damn straight you are. And with good reason. Nice nails. Thank you. This one, I like this, the, the way that this color turned out. You can't really tell. It's kind of a sparkly. It's more of a pinky than anything else. This is just a, a plain Easter egg kind of colored purple. And then these are sparkly black. And then these are two different gray silvers with sparkles in them. I don't believe in painting all your fingers the same color. But I'm getting better at this dip nail thing. Third eye open. She made it in. I'm so glad to see you. Fantastic. Yep, UK is Dalamazon. Oh no. What happened, Tambor June? Lay it on us if you want to share. We'll help you carry that, whatever it is. Got caught up in Tori's live. Man, DOA is stoned. That's what I've heard. Yep, and Arkansas. We have a murderous pheasant, a Reeves pheasant, who is so vicious we named it Genghis Khan. Damn. That's a rather unpleasant pheasant, if I might say so. You presuppose spheres and false heliocentrism. Yes, I know. I know you're all about letting people have it about the heliocentrism. New Zealand is in a northern climb. I have seen Lord of the Rings. Yes, yes. Which was a documentary from what I understand. <clears throat> I'm sorry, unstable data. You have my, my deepest apologies for my heliocentrism. I think we're far enough in. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're definitely far enough in. I'm going to go back to that in a second. Y'all get ready. Tambor June's mom passed this morning from a seizure. So we're going to raise a glass to Tambor June's mom or a potato chip or whatever it is. You have my sympathies. And I'm sure a lot of the rest of the people in the chat are going to be throwing ones in there for you. They're going to be sending positive energy and healing juju and all the other stuff. Throw them ones in the chat, y'all. And Maria, you got to go. That's okay, honey. Get on that duck house. I almost said goose hoose. Oh, shit. Thank you. We're kind of broken, especially my dad. We live very close, so I was there most of the day. She's been sick for a long time, but unexpected today. Even when they're sick for a long time, when it happens, it always takes you back, takes you by surprise. Always. 
I mean, that's just how it go. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, you have, you have my condolences, you have my sympathies. And of course, if you need to talk or you want to just reach out, I know I'm not the only one who would be willing to listen. Let's get it going. Let's sing the song. Zinu Marlina, everybody partake to Mrs. Tambor June's mom. So fucking sorry. Yep, we're here to hold space for you tonight. There's all those ones. Don Gloves be drinking Dr. Pepper tonight. Very nice. Oh, people are asking. Hi, people, places, and perspectives. They're asking for your mom's name so that we might. Uh, her name is Shannon. All right. Well, those who are praying, folks, are going to be sending some light her way. And Maria Plevier, the ones are um, to indicate that you are sending prayers, or if you're not a praying person, that you're sending um, positive energy, healing messages, good juju, whatever. It's just a, a very simple way to express multiple uh, sentiments, all of them kind of along the same lines, just a little bit different. So, yeah, that's what that means. Y'all going to make me cry happy tears for the first time today. Good. Good. Not that you're, I'm making you cry, but good that they're happy tears. May her blessing or may her memory continue to be a blessing. Artsy Tartsy is here. Hello, Artsy Tartsy. Half and some, some are passing the wax back and forth. Very nice. Yep. Also, ducks are good. Yes. Yes, ducks are good. Mischief managed. Well, hello. Good to see you. Very nice. Lighting a candle for Shannon and your family. Yep. Yep. I love it. Yeah. The ones is, uh, that's a thing that started on the lifeboat. That's a lifeboat thing. I'd never, uh, encountered it anywhere else, but I love it. I love it. And I think that that's, um, a really great way for people to express the same general sentiment in multiple different ways, very simply. And uh, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Oh, goodness gracious. Now, let's see. Somebody sent me an email and I have to take a look to see if it's photos of adorableness that I should be sharing. Oh, it's Trish. It's our girl Trish. Thanks for the shout out. Hey, guys, you got a free nurse with you if you're room with me, a free hospice nurse at that. So if you go into cardiac arrest, I'll save you. 
If I can't save you, I won't let you linger those 20 seconds in pain. Also, I won't make you eat a live chicken in the room. At least until the third night. Johns Hopkins, pediatric oncology nurse, is my goal. Thanks, guys. Yep. Oh, and she also said, as somebody who grew up so Catholic, but I'm now not religious, I absolutely loved the zombie Jesus Easter reference. <laughs> well, you know, that's kind of how we roll here. That's how we roll. Oh, it's law. But L.A. is fine. All right. No, if you're La Chameleon, I will use La Chameleon. Very nice. Yes, I will call you tomorrow afternoon. Artsy Tartsy, and I'm making a note right now. Call. Artsy. Tartsy. Damn it. There. Did it. It is a great goal, Tambor June. It absolutely is. And uh, we've got mad respect for our Trish for having a goal like that. Oh, no. Summer Savage. That chocolate bunny I got is Russell Stover. Huge and solid. I mean, I suppose you could melt it down and do, some, do something cool with it. Beat it with a hammer. I mean, I don't, I, hmm. I guess it's been so long since I've had a chocolate bunny that I don't even know what I would do with it. And the chocolate T-Rex that I got from my neighbors is hollow. So I don't even know what to say. I did want to talk about, I came across something that reminded me, because we were talking yesterday about April Fool's Day and how I don't really participate um, there you go, Summer. I knew you'd think of something. I believe in you. Clever girl. So anyway, I was talking about, uh, last night about April Fool's Day and how it's not really my jam. Um, but... If I can find something harmless and fun to do that I did not drag it out all day, then I will. And when I was working in recovery, I, um, I started this at the residential place. And then I did it when I was working also at the um, outpatient place was that Mom and I sat down at the kitchen table with brown paper bags and a pair of scissors. And we cut out a bunch of the letter E. E. Out of brown paper bags. Oh, wait, I should probably do that this way. To make it so that it works. Is that correct? Anybody who signs, let me know. Um, I cut out a bunch of the letter E from the brown paper bags and I put them all in one of those oblong takeout containers, like you get Chinese food in, not the little boxing, but the oblong ones. This is correct, Marla. Okay. Good to know. So. I brought them to work. And when the girls came in to see me, I would tell them that, well, I know I got the sign correct. I just want to know if it's facing the right way because this is technically my left hand. But if you're reading it correctly, then that's what matters. Um, I can, I can fingerspell better with my left hand than I can with my right, but I know that that's not how people read it. So I want to make sure that y'all can read what I'm doing. Anyway, bunch of brown E's. And uh, 
put them in a takeout container and told the girls, my mom and I made brownies before work. Do you want one? And I mean, there's are people in recovery. Of course they want something with fucking sugar in it, right? So I'd be, I would open it up. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Pick which one you want. And I would hold out the takeout container with all of the ease in it. Because they were brown ease. And I mean, I'm not a monster. We also did actually have a big fat pan of actual brownies that I frosted. So, um, you know, it kind of helped soothe the butt hurt a little bit when they're like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, it's a brownie. My mom and I made them. That's exactly what I said. And I had a couple people go stomping off before I lured them back with uh, the actual baked good. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Mischief managed. Yes, I did. I did this multiple years in a row, as a matter of fact. Hi, nuts and board. Good to see ya. Um, I did this multiple years in a row, and I did it at the outpatient place. And it always went over well. And one of the things that I loved about it, yes, I am still living to tell this story because, again, I am not a monster. And I brought actual baked goods to back me up. But what I loved, and the one thing that I loved the absolute most about this, was that some of the ladies in the residential place actually wanted to keep their brown E because they wanted to remember it when they got out so they could play the same cute little prank on other people or their own kids. And I loved that. And I saw somebody, uh, come into the outpatient place that had been one of my clients at the inpatient place. And I was the one doing intake and admissions and all that stuff. So they came in and they saw me and they recognized me and oh, blah, 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 big hugs. Um, and she said, do you know what I have in my purse right now? I said, I haven't got the faintest clue, my dear. <laughs> And I wouldn't even begin to guess. And she reached into her purse and she pulled out that brown E. She kept it with her. All the time. That, that kind of thing right there is why I have no regrets at all about doing that kind of work. Those people were the best people that I ever met in my life, my clients. And it's a shame that uh, the organization for which I was working was uh, such crap. But man, it was rewarding. It was heartbreaking. It was wrenching. It was sometimes incredibly hard work. But it was also the most rewarding that I've ever done. Like, I'm almost tearing up right now thinking about it. Because when she pulled up that brown E and she's like, oh, yeah, I keep it with me all the time. I'll never forget that. I mean, how friggin' mind-blowing is that? To know that you you did a stupid little joke. You backed it up so you knew that. Not all the world are horrible people. And she kept a reminder of that with her all the time. I love that. Anyway, that's really the only 
the only uh, really good April Fool's joke uh, story that I have. That's what I got. And hells to the yes. Hi, Char Michael. I see you folding laundry. Very nice. I'm sure the Porpingtons have a lot of laundry that you have to fold. Um, I worked at an outpatient treatment center for women with children under five. It was the most fulfilling job I've ever had. Yes, Crispy, Christie's Boutique. Yes. Yes, 100%. No regrets. Krista Melinda, not a single one. Zena Marlene, to Hef and her health, she had her oncologist call her today and said that there are zero traces of leukemia. And we are grateful AF about that. Cheers, baby. Yeah, I was super happy to hear that. I was kind of jumping up and down with excitement and cheering when uh, when she messengered me with that information today. Pretty exciting. Pretty fucking exciting. What do we got? Krista Melinda. I did work like that years ago. I've been in corporate for seven and a half years. Oh, Lord. And I think I'm ready to go get my heart broken again. Yeah, you probably are. You probably are. Because I will tell you, I did corporate for way too long. I did corporate from 2004. No, from 1994 to 2001. Never again. It devoured my soul bite by bite every single day. And I'll never do that again. I'll never stuff myself into some cookie cutter little mold box to be what somebody else thinks is acceptable for me to be. Never again. Over that shit. That is true. You never know what's going to make an impact. 100%. Zach Kohler, grace, grateful AF, and good to see you. Welcome. I don't think I recognize you around these parts. Welcome, welcome. Loving you is easy because you're beautiful. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Ah. Sorry, I've watched that episode of South Park maybe a few too many times. Oh, who we got here? Me and mom and grand puppies. Look at the babies. We love them. What cuties. Aww. Janet G, you emailed me a photo too? I don't see it in my email, honey. I wonder if it landed in my spamity spams. Nope. All I see is me and mom and grandpuppies, Janet G. You sent to Chow Yun Smut, all one word, at gmail.com, right? Emailed you a picture of my twins, copy and paste. Okay, I see you. Oh my God, you are speaking my life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm. Never again. Never again. I did all the statistics for our program, says Christie's Boutique. We had the highest success rate in Northern California for women. We were a jail and prison diversion program. Nice. Oh, that had to be great. Psych Sauce is here, everybody. We are happy. You sing that song too, Hef? Oh, thank God I'm not the only one. I had to try to explain it to somebody. Hi, my sister, George. 
you're listening from north of Seattle, but your eyelids are heavy. That's totally okay, sweet pea. You just go right ahead and listen. Well, we've got north of Seattle and south of Seattle. I love it. Jasper has abandoned me tonight. He was not happy that the little one wasn't here last night, and now he's glued to her. Well, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I had to explain that South Park reference to people who have never seen that episode um, earlier in the week, and that was kind of frustrating. It's one of my favorite episodes. They're coming right for us! <sighs> oh, it was so much side-eye last night, Marlon Dillard. It was a sassy amount of, of side-eye, for sure, 100%. Artsy Tartsy hit the send arrow too fast, so she was glad to hear the food news, not the good news, but you know what? You could blame hitting the send arrow too fast, you could just blame auto cock rocket, which is normally what I do, honestly. 100% of the time. <laughs> like I said, my mom tried to tell me tried to text me that she had a tear duct infection and her phone told me that she had a test fuck infection. She was mortified, of course. And I was on my Lawler skates. I was in the Rofelcopter. I cracked her right the hell up. So, yeah. What do you think? Is everybody taking their meds? Is it time for meds? I think it's time for meds. Although if you're in the UK or Denmark or Finland or Norway, if you're in South Africa, if you're Gallo and you're lurking from France, uh, or if it's late afternoon in sunny Straya, where Char Michael is, it's time for day meds. Day meds. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. Come, Mr. Doctor Man, help me solve my problems. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. No, there's another line. I just haven't written it. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. Day, me said day meds. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. Day, me said day, me said day, me said day meds. You gotta take meds. Take one pill, two pill, three pill, drink. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. One pill, two pill, three pill, drink. Daylight come and you gotta take meds. It's still not perfect. It's still a work in progress. But Gallo, I'm working on it. I'm working on it for all y'all. But mainly for Gallo because Gallo keeps commenting about it. But I'm trying. I'm trying, babe. Please be patient. For the rest of us over here in this side of the world where it's nighttime, night meds, take your night meds. It's a modern pharmacology. Night meds, time for night meds. They can help your physiology. Take them well before you go to sleep. They work while you're busy counting sheep. When you take your night meds, it's a happy, healthy snooze time, a snorry snooze time. You'll have a sleepy time. Night meds. Remember to sip first so the melatonin or the levothyroxine doesn't stick. This is important.
unless it tries to go down sideways. That ain't nice. Okay, now I've just gotten three emails in a row. Let's see what we got. Wolf Machine is here. Hi, Wolf Machine. Well, Nicole Yonker, I gave you the Daymed song. You're in bed dancing while throwing pills in your mouth. Very nice. Very nice. Third eye open. Supplements taken, says Char Michael. Gretchen only is pleased to hear the day med song. Mark Hardman, who gave us the one pill, two pill, three pill drink. Um, he, uh, he gave us that line. So. Got to take last evening's doses. Very nice. Yep. That's one of the things that you've been missing here, third eye open, is that we do the night meds song every night. Day meds is still kind of a work in progress, as you can see, but yeah, no night meds for Mistress Managed, that's okay. Krista Melinda is staying up late working on spreadsheets and actually needed the reminder, good. Oh, half, of course you're loved. Of course you're loved. All right. So what do we got happening here? Uh-oh, half. You're double fisting the vapes tonight. Y'all strap in. Oh, shit. Gretchen only is in Vegas now. There is no sleep. That's true. That's true. They call New York the city that never sleeps, but uh, Vegas, man. Vegas is no joke. All right, let's take a look at these emails, see what we got here. Hello to all 50, and now I got three emails from Janet G. Good God, they're cute. Janet G. Copy and paste. No joke. Look how cute they are. Good heavens. Are they identical? Yep, I said I didn't get it, and I guess that had to have pushed all the rest of them in. Um, because then I got three in a row. Oh, missed it, managed. Welcome, welcome, welcome to being a dirty stay up. Enjoy the corner booth here in the Denny's of the internet. This broadcast is not sponsored by Denny's or Moons Over My Hammy. Also, there isn't a Denny's even in this town, nor is there an IHOP. And I think it's kind of a freaking travesty. My friend signed me up for a craft show this weekend, so I'm up late making inventory. Damn, girl. Okay, get it. Get that paper. Identical in DNA, not in personality. Ain't that always the way, though? My sister and I Looked like that as children 14 months apart. Oh, so Irish twins. Woohoo! Mischief managed. Now you get, no, we don't have an awful waffle. Closest one to us is Ohio. One, and it closes at like four in the afternoon or three, or something. It's dumb. It's really good. Really good. Absolutely banging. But we don't have anything that's like, that would qualify as a 24-hour bar rush hangout, where you can get, you know, 18 gallons of coffee, and some disco fries, and 
you know, we don't have like anything that's like a diner that's open late. I nothing, nothing up here in Hoth, nothing. Same Z's for you, mischief managed. No IHOP, no Denny's, no fast food. You live, you do live in Go Gooberville. Even we have a Chaza Strip up here. That's you know where all of the fast food lives on one road. But um, yeah, yeah, I made a joke in Hebrew. Bring it. What's Disco Fries? Says Char Michael. If you are in New York or New Jersey, you know the Disco Fries. Uh, they are French fries with whatever blend of seasonings the chef deems appropriate. Um, here in Hoth, we actually called them Reggie fries because the chef at the Perkins on 494 and France Ave would make them and his name is Reggie. Um, but usually it's just like Lowry seasoning salt or something. And then they put mozzarella cheese all over the damn things. And those are disco fries. Best eaten when you've, uh, when you've just come from the bar. I love Waffle House, but I've never actually eaten a waffle from there. I have. I actually almost always get a waffle from there. I've been to Prescott. Okay. I've had In-N-Out burgers. Animal style, I think they were. It's the only way to get In-N-Out, honestly. I like, I, like a, I like a good solid one by two animal style. Yeah, but you know what? Their fries are bullshit animal I, I mean people can fight me on it if they want to but uh in and out french fries are bullshit you want good fries as fucked up as it is go to del taco or go to fat burger fat burger has good fries smoke is now debating a run to white castle mm -hmm. get it get you some of that i approve all the way have a couple of them little bad boys, them weird steamed poor idea motherfuckers for me. Animal style all the way. Yes, third eye open. Animal style all the way. It just doesn't work on the fries because it's a crappy base to start anything. Those fries are bullshit. Shakes are good. I mean, they're not mind blowing, but they're okay. See, Mischief Manners, you like their fries. Of course. Yeah, Prescott, like biscuit. Been there. Been to Prescott many years ago. <sighs> yeah, but they were animal style, and whoever it was that was guiding you, Alan, did it right. They did it right. Yes. Wait. Had in and out. When I was in San Antonio, it definitely didn't live up to the hype. Fat burger skinny fries are the shiz. Absolutely 100%. Is In-N-Out the same as Takeaway? No. In-N-Out is its own chain. It's a chain of burger joints, mostly in California. But there is one in Vegas. And it's called In N Out Burger. I got to say, though, their drive through game is solid. Their drive through game is no joke. They can be having cars all the way out to the freeway and they will process those bitches. And they got people out there with little iPads taking orders along the line. Yeah, it's it's no joke. What's animal style? Uh, animal style includes onions that have been fried in mustard, I believe. And I think they fry the patty in mustard as well. Uh, and then they put Thousand Island on it. That's animal style. I don't even like Thousand Island dressing, but on an animal style burger, I'll eat it. 
Yeah, whoever it was that was that was guiding you, Alan, did so correctly. Animal style is the shit. Wolf Machine says, there's a rumor that In-N-Out is coming to a town near me and I'm going to be so pissed if it's fake news. You know what? They tried to tell me that there was going to be a Popeye's opening here. Like two years ago. You know what we still don't have? Fucking Popeye's. Where is Popeye's? I want Popeye's. I want the dirty rice. I want the uh, mashed potatoes and gravy with that weird fucking gravy that they have. I want the fry pies with the lava inside. Will I get that? No, I will get nothing in like it. This program is not sponsored by Popeye's. I love that chicken from Popeye's, but I will not get it. And the chicken sandwich is damn good. But I like their blackened chicken sandwich even better. And I will get nothing in like it. Alan Ballantyne wants biscuits and gravy. Tommy bought them. Well, that was very smart. Tommy did a smart thing. Grandkids galore. Hello. Good to see you again. Squirter burgers. Yeah. Yeah, boy, they call them sliders because they slide right down and they slide right out later. 1920 Wright Castle opened. I'm thinking they're one of the oldest still open. That's that's possible. There are a number of different people in this chat who would be happy. They're they're ready to have a, a biscuits and gravy cook off because of that white gravy. And I can't get behind white gravy. We have one near me in North Texas. There's a whole bat battle between Whataburger fans and In-N-Out fans. You know what? No contest. Whataburger wins every time. Whataburger wins every time. And again, people are welcome to fight me. They can. I'm cool with that. I'm ready. In and out doesn't have that chicken on a honey butter biscuit. And yeah, they have their cute little hidden menu. I know how to order in code, but um, they ain't got Whataburger. Whataburger is the shit. You just got a Taco John's and they are nasty. Okay. I beg to differ. Here's the thing. You want, you got Taco John's. You got Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I grew up on Taco Bell. I didn't know from Taco John's until we moved up here to Hoth. But I knew Taco Bell. I had been eating Burrito Supreme since I was a very small child, like four years old. I loved them. And they used to have black olives in them. And I love them. Well, then we moved up here to Hoth. We didn't have Taco Bell. We had Taco John's. And I found that I liked their refried beans better. And they too would put black olives on a super burrito, which is what they call their version of this burrito supreme. Taco John's also has these little, you know, those little crispy hash brown guys that you get at Burger King in the morning, hash crowns or potato crowns or whatever the fuck. I can curse now. I'm almost an hour in. Um, they have those at Taco John's. They call them potato olays. And if you want the nachos experience, but you don't want to eat chips, you need way more carbs than that. The super potato olays are where it's at. They also have what they call Mexican donut bites which are really just blobs of fluffy fried dough that they dump a bunch of frosting on. I'm not mad at them. It's a diabetic nightmare. It gives my pancreas cramps and I'm not even diabetic. But 
you know, on those PMS days, whoo, yes. So then we finally got Taco Bell up here. And I was like, woo, woo, it's time for Burrito Supremes. They're going to taste just like they did when I was a kid. No, they do not. And part of that is because they changed their refried beans. And they don't put black olives in anything anymore. I'm angry about that. To the extreme. Taco John's also had a Mexican pizza before Taco Bell even thought about it. There are differences. I like Taco Bell's taco sauce better in the little packets. Um, but pretty much every other time I'm, I'm going for Taco John's and half of that is because of the, the potato lays. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. They call them a stupid name, but I love them. I love them. They're salty and delicious. Shake Shack is better than in and out That's my hill to die on. Yes. I agree with you, Third Eye Open, and their fries are better. Kelly B69, I'm hungry. Be right back. Fair enough. Taco Bell is insanely overpriced now, Smoke. You ain't lying. Tony Bourdain favored in and out burgers, I think. Yes, he did. Uh, but he did also like Shake Shack, if I remember correctly. There's three. Rather eat Taco Bell than Taco John's. That's fine. Yeah, Taco Bell used to be deep, dirt, cheap college food. That is true. That is true. But they have decided that they fancy or something. I agree that Shake Shack is better than In-N-Out. Yep. What happened to the cap at 1 p.m. and tonight? I know that he's exhausted. He was very tired. And I think what happened to the captain is that he popped on with Reese and then she popped off and told him to take his gummy and go to bed. So he did. The end. Hopefully he'll be back to normal tomorrow. But yeah, he sounded all nasally and gross like he was trying to come down with something. So, oh, four. Never had Whataburger. Okay, Wolf Machine. Mischief Manage grew up with In-N-Out. That's your jam. That's fair. I ain't mad at you. The Honey Butter Chicken Biscuit. Yes. Haven't had one of those since I had my 22-year-old metabolism. <laughs> oh, Alan. You are missing out. You are missing out. What a burger breakfast. I'm just, I'm not even, and I don't think they have it in Florida. I don't think they have it in Florida, babe. They might have it in AZ though. I mean, I know I, it's all over the hell, the place in Texas. So they might have it in Arizona. Are you going to Tommy's first before y'all go to Florida? For the cruise, because you might be able to make that happen. Smash burger, meh. Fat burger, yes. I'm eating chicken and a biscuit crackers and drinking cherry Pepsi. Does that count? Yes. Yes, it does. We work with what we got, babe. Whataburger is one of the few things I miss about living in Texas. Yep. There was a rumor going around that one is supposed to open in Conway soon. So maybe. I worked at Taco Bell for many years. I have an open offer to go back whenever I want. Um, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, no. You're hungry and Sydney doesn't have any of this. That blows. Yes, they did have olives mischief managed. Fucking A right, they did. I used to get taco time, but there aren't many around anymore. I didn't have taco time, uh, but I can get down with Del Taco. 
I, as a matter of fact, when I go back to LA, I usually have to go to Del Taco at least once. Um, I can get down with Tito's tacos. I can get down with King taco for sure. Um, yeah, you know, I, people bring this up. People try to step to me with five guys. And I will say to this, yes, the burger's okay. But it's really overpriced. It's really overpriced. Like Shake Shack kind of pushes that limit anyway, but Five Guys is hella overpriced to me, in my opinion. Be it ever so humble. Never had Whataburger or In N Out. Well, I am sorry for you and your taste buds. Y'all talking stuff we don't have around here, kind of annoying. Well, you know what? If I was a Danish, like you are a Danish, I would be able to talk about Danish things. Right now, the only thing Danish that I know of is the uh, the lovely fruit-filled breakfast pastry. Sometimes with cheese. So talk to me about some Danish shit. Help us learn things. Hash rounds. Okay. The authentic Mexican restaurant is actually cheaper than Taco Bell these days. Yeah, you ain't lying. Fuck yeah, potato olays. Damn right. I don't even need the nacho sauce. I'll just shove them in my face. But I put a few of them in my burrito first. I like Arby's Fresh Market Turkey and Bacon Sandwich. I had my gallbladder out so I can't eat greasy food much anymore. You know what? I will tell you, Christie's Boutique, Arby's is underrated. As long as you get something that isn't their roast beef. And I know my friend Rob is going to be mad at me about that because he's all about the roast beef and cheddar. And I can get behind a roast beef and cheddar. But the Arby's chicken sandwich. Don't sleep on the Arby's chicken sandwich. Just a classic chicken sandwich. Chicken filet, mayo, lettuce, bun. Don't sleep on that. It's some good shit. And I don't find it to be overly really heavy, gloppy, greasy. I am pissed at Arby's that they took away the potato cakes, though. Char Michael, me want to eat everything. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I mean, they've got Maccas. Well, now I'm considering a midnight snack. Yeah, welcome to the show, Third Eye Open. When I say that we're basically in the corner booth of an all-night diner, restaurant of some sort to be unnamed, I guess, because it's not like I have sponsors. Um, one of the things about being in the corner booth is you're seeing a lot of food go by. We wind up talking about food a lot. Welcome to the club. SP Fanny, nothing tastes like when I was a kid. I think my taste buds have gotten old. No, they have become more discerning. Time for Brian to make a sandwich. Janet G is eating vanilla yogurt right now. Crinkle fries do rule, Cara McAllister. Oh, shit, that's a tough call. Either White Castle now or I wait two hours for fresh donuts. Dang. And I'm only going to be on for another hour. I don't know what you'll do for the other hour. I'm assuming that you ways, have ways to amuse yourself. It's been a long time since I've had a fresh donut, though, so I might just be biased. That might be just my own screaming id yelling at you. No Taco John's here, but we do have Taco Bell and Del Taco. Okay, Miss Sunrise Zone, we'll get you some of that. Oh, ping, ping. Uh, get you some of that Del Taco. All I have here are oranges and bananas and pork rinds. Guess I'm eating a banana. Okay. Have a banana. No pig puffs for you. You like the onion rings at Dairy Queen, said Janet G. 
Dairy Queen now has cheese curds, fried cheese curds. I'm not sure if you were aware. Yes. Yes, he did need to. Tommy did need to. He sounded exhausted. He did. He sounded beaten like he was trying to come down with a cold, man. Never had White Castle. We went there on the way to the airport and they were shut. Lame. Sorry to hear that. Whataburger is good, says Kelly B 69 Mark Hardman with the important cruise question of the night. We're all going to be up late on the cruise. It is what defines us. This is a true thing. How late in the morning is breakfast served? In the main dining room, I believe they stop serving breakfast at like 9.30 or 10. It's kind of gross. Uh, in the buffet, they stop serving it at 11. And I'm not sure what time Blue Iguana Cantina stops serving breakfast burritos. You can also have room service breakfast brought to you. Um, but I'm not sure what time that stops. That might stop at 10 as well. So I don't know. But, you know, then they start shoveling out all the lunch food. So um, you really got to work to go hungry on a cruise. Mischief managed. Okay, got to make some food. I'm sad. Just got back from NYC. Already missing it. Love them. Murder Burgers. New York City is my heart. I love it so much. And it's the only place you can get a good fucking chopped cheese. Yeah. Look it up. Thank me later. Yep. You'll be at Tommy's for a few days before the cruise. Cool. So he might have Whataburger. I'll have to look it up. Making notes. Look up. What a burger near Tucson. Smash burger is good in a pinch when you're Rick and Stoned and everyone else is. That's also what Jack in the Box is for. Yep. That's what Jack in the Box is for. Oh, you miss Del Taco? Yeah. It's been a while since I've had Del Taco. Oh, and everyone else is closed. Oh, I thought you meant that everyone else is stoned, but I mean, that works too. Currently snacking on rainbow mini Cadbury eggs. I didn't get any Easter baskets. <laughs> five guys. Holy shit, five guys are reprised. Five guys, nah. Nope. Only listening and I heard water burger. Yeah, I suppose I probably said it too fast. I had to pop in the chat to see if I heard right. Water burger just sounded so bad. Yeah, no, what a burger. What a burger. Like uh like in this one, right? Yeah. Birmingham, Alabama. They have what a burger. Gotta emphasize that H like miracle whip. You don't have Jack in the Crack in Florida? I know there's no Whataburger there, but y'all have like rallies and checkers and shit like that. And we're going to be in Miami, y'all. I don't even want to be talking about chain food in Miami unless it's a local Miami chain and they're serving up Cuban food. Do you have Santiago's? They make great guacamole tostadas. No, we do not. Well, then, help me. Just going to complain about it? Corned beef hash. Yes. Throw a couple of big fat fried eggs on that bitch. It looks like Alpo. It looks like dog food. Not going to lie. But so delicious. Pile it all up on some buttered toast and shove it in your face. Well done. Good job. I like the fresh market sandwiches. Don't like their roast beef. It just doesn't look right. And that's fair. I'm just saying, don't sleep on their 
original classic chicken sandwich. Five taco trucks and two authentic Mexican restaurants within two miles of my house, plus Chipoodle. Local fresh ingredients make me happy. Fucking A right. Get to those taco trucks in those two authentic places. F Chipotle. Over it with them. Girl, I know you are. I know you're here for it, Gretchen only. I am here for it. 100% just like you are. Yes. Didn't have to say that we are the food channel for weirdos. I mean, if she didn't, she should have. Because it's true. Haven't had Arby's in decades. What's up with their roast beef? Meh. I'm just meh about it. Meh. 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 I like their chicken sandwich better. We do like our potatoes, though. Same. Same. It makes keto very difficult. Because I do love some potatoes. Y'all are making me hungry at 3.10 a.m. Kim White, that is what we do. Good question, Smoke. Why not both? Gretchen only is getting in on it. White Castle and donuts. Yes, we are here to instigate your poor choices. We support them. You sent me gizmo pics. Okay. Phil was really disappointed he didn't get a bite of my sandwich. That's my payback for him messing with me all the time. Well, okay, that's fair. I thought you were going to say no pictures. Culver's cheese curds are pretty good. They are pretty good. See, I see. These lives are in the corner booth of an IHOP at 2 a.m. or Denny's. Uh, after bars close, my kind of people in 2 a.m. is the best time ever to eat IHOP. Love it. Yep. That's exactly what we do. We're basically just, you know, like everybody who mods all the other channels can come in here and not have to work because I wield my own band hammer. Um, other people are popping in on their work breaks like Cave Ma'am will stop in to visit when she's out taking a cigarette break from her job. Um Lori, Lori, Lori is sometimes working when she's here with us. I mean, there's there's all kinds of people who are have just gotten off of work or whatever. Or if they're in Europe um, or the UK, sometimes they're hanging out with us before they go to work. And uh, I kind of love it. But yeah, yeah, we're at the diner during bar rush in the corner booth. Talking shit about everybody, basically. Um and uh, staring at all the food going by. 100%. That is that is absolutely how we roll up in here. Whataburger Invitational Tennis Tournament. Nice. Oh, see, here comes Joanne Rice with the 411. Alan Ballantyne. Per the store locator, there are several Whataburgers in Tucson. Your chicken on a honey butter biscuit dreams are going to be fulfilled. Yes, sir. Get you some. Hi, Susan P. Good to see ya. Hi, Joanne Rice. If I didn't say hi before, hi. A cruise should have all-day breakfast. A cruise has all-day food. It just varies. But there's food all the damn time. Food, food, food. Go hungry on a cruise. It's your own damn fault. Yes, girl. Chopped cheese is the shit. Yes, it is. 100%. Can you believe I'm born and raised in New York and just heard about chopped cheese six years ago on De Sous and Mero? Didn't get a chance to try it this time. Again, girl, you got to take you up to Harlem, Harlem or the Bronx to get the real shit chopped cheese. Don't play around in Manhattan, in like lower Manhattan for any of this chopped cheese. Nah, nah, don't even. Uh, 
I live way too close to Jack and the Crack and I get the munchies. Sure you do. Of course you do. You live too close to Jack and the Crack. That's why you get the munchies. And now Phil is messing with me. Guess my revenge was short-lived. Fair enough. Question, can you be a vegetarian and on keto? Probably, but not vegan. Because it's, it's high fat, medium protein, low carb. So the only challenge with that is getting all of your nutrients in. But the medium protein you can get from other sources. You just got to find a way to, I mean, you're going to be putting mayonnaise on everything. So you can't really be vegan because I don't think veganaise would work in this case. I don't know. Either that or you're going to have a diet of like nothing but peanut butter. I don't know. I haven't really researched that, honestly, Gretchen. Fascinating question, though. Jack in the box. You have to have a vehicle for drive through Clowns and charlatans. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, got some bacon and eggs. Good for you, Mischief Managed. Glad to see it. F to Poodle and F Panda Express. I agree 1000% mischief managed. I agree. And you know what? Another one of those rules for life, like no diamonds for the cat. Um, never get your tattoo flash off of a fast food cup. Unless you're being painfully ironic. And I mean painfully ironic. There's somebody that I used to work with many years ago who uh, showed me the flash for the tattoo that she was going to get. She was super excited to show me the design. And I'm like, okay, that's, uh, what is that, Chinese? She said, yeah. I said, what does it mean? Do you speak Chinese? Do you read Chinese? Can you translate that? I don't, but it said on the side of the cup that it meant strength. And I'm like, cup, what cup? As my brain is collapsing. The Panda Express cup, that's where I got it. I had to walk away because I was having difficulties controlling my face. Don't do this, people. Do not. Later hours on brunch and sea days. Yes, that is true, Kim White. On the ship, they do have later hours for, for like, brunchies, brunchy munchies, especially on sea days. Because um, they know you're not going to get up at the ass crack. Because you don't have to get off the ship to go into port. So if it's a sea day... They will have brunches in the dining room, and those are lovely. Susan P. wants chips, queso, and a margarita. That sounds delightful. SP Fanny is having early lunch again today because of us. It's our fault. Does Denny's serve Baskin Robbins ice cream? I haven't got a stinking clue. They're classic... Chocolate chip has been my fave since I was little. Back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, it's still the same. I don't know. I know that there are many Dunkin' Dizzle, Baskin Rizzle shops around these days. The little Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins combo shops. And then there's another one that's like, what is it, Cinnabon and Baskin Robbins? Because they're all owned by the same parent company these days. Um... I have no idea if Denny serves Baskin Robbins ice cream. I guess I've never thought to ask.
Sierra Nevada Brewery is in my town. They are a no waste facility. It's really neat to see how they work hard to be sustainable. I love that Christie's Boutique. Corner booth after bar close. Hell yes. And jumping across the pond. Uh, mm, table to fight. Yeah. That's what we do. Not a huge fan of fast food, but a good sit-down Indian place is totally my speed. Yep, I can get behind that too. Om nom nom nom. I know, I wish you could go on the cruise with us too, Mischief Managed. You can guarantee you will gain at least five pounds and it's worth it. Yeah, the average person on a seven-day sailing, this is an eight-day sailing, uh, the average person on a seven-day sailing gains approximately 12 pounds. Now I want a PB and J says Kristen Melinda. You want to make it better? You want to one up next level that sandwich? You can. Butter both sides of it and grill it like a cheese. You're welcome. Yeah, Alan, I agree with the keto. The fat content would be the sticker. Because we're we're putting butter and mayonnaise on freaking everything. Dudes, I just discovered Duke's mayo. Used it in my devil's eggs today. So good. Kara, I use Kewpie mayo in mine. And it's also really good. It's got just a little bit of an elevated vinegar content that gives them just the right. Mwah. I love it. My Vegemite arrived. I think I'm going to try it tomorrow. There's so much polarization around it. I was curious. Remember, toast, butter, and then a very thin layer of Vegemite. Don't go insane. Especially not the first time. No diamonds for the cat? Nah, my cat looked like she robbed Liberace. Well, you know what? And that's good for you. In, in my house, no diamonds for the cat. I'm holding space for Natalie and her Tony. His cancer is probably back in a major way. Son of a bitch. I am so sorry to hear that. Third eye open. He has not had a PB&J sandwich. He has not had uh, Pop-Tarts, fluff, Twinkies, cherry pie, blueberry pie, s'mores, chicken pot pie, or Whataburger. I've been keeping a list. I was staying in Harlem and of was, of course, up in the Bronx. The boogie down. I even told my kid I wanted to try it. I guess we ran out of time. Meeting with my sis in Miami next month. Going to have her bring one down to me. Nice. <laughs> Put a chopped cheese on the plane. I don't know how well that's going to work out. But you know what? If she can make it happen, make it happen. We are going to rock Alan's world with food. It is going to happen. Don't corrupt our innocent Alan. Hef. The word innocent is fascinating to me. Oh, good. So half a titty. Yeah, we are going to. Okay, I heated up some Thai. All is good in the world. Okay, good, Char Michael. I said the average person gains 12 pounds mischief managed. You know that we're all not average people here. We're all out of the ordinary. Maybe on a future cruise, Pamela, that's that's true. That's true. Yes. Uh-huh. So gooey. 
I do like Hellman's. Summer Savage Dukes is from her small town. There have been a lot of people who swear by Dukes. Hey, No Talk Tony, you've been lurking. Right on. Glad to see you. Glad to see that you piped up and said hello. Appointment is in a few hours, and I've had five and a half hours sleep in the last 72. Ooh, lady. I have the feeling I'll be in the hospital for testing all fucking day. Well, maybe you'll be able to get some naps in between there. I hope so. I hope you can. In between the tests. Yes, the average person gains 10 pounds, uh, gains 12 pounds on a seven-day sailing. I'm not an average person. I never gain that much on a sailing, but I'm always scampering around all over the damn place. So, ooh, Char Michael says, Alan, they have Pop-Tarts at Woolies. There you go. Get you some. Mara, you just got here and we're talking food again. Of course we are. Have you met us? We talk about food all the damn time. Okay, I will fess up, says Susan P. I hope y'all are ready for this. I put peanut butter on my sausage biscuits. Know what I say to that? Okay. I've put peanut butter on fire roasted hot dogs before. I've had peanut butter on a hamburger before. And I've had it in a sushi roll. And each time it was good. So you know what? If it works for you, get after it. Caught Natalie's live when I was at work. I hid behind my monitor and sniffed the whole video. I am so sorry. That really sucks. Thank you for letting us know. Oh, I'll get my chopped cheese. Every time I go to New York, I take my sister bread from here, PR. Ah, and she gets me my French and Italian bread. I always travel with snacks and food. Fair enough. Get it. Daniel Sander doesn't know from Duke's mayonnaise. He only knows Duke's of Hazard. Have a wonderful evening, morning, day, everyone. Positive vibes to all. Thank you so much, Smoke. Are you going to get White Castle? Oh, that's okay, Alex. We all get distracted here, or we go on food runs in the middle of the show, because we kind of have to. I don't get to, but we kind of have to. The rest of us, you know, the royal we. Um... Because we're talking about food the damn time and whole damn time. And then people get hungry and, uh, and then they get distracted and they have to go find snacks. So yeah, we'll just make you hungry. I don't mind the food talk. I'm just trying to lose a few so I can gain it back on cruise. 100%. Yep. We're gonna. Brother made awesome cheese dip. So I told them when I visited again, I expected to have it again. Woo. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Squirrel. Of course you need to get breakfast. Of course you're hungry already. That's how we roll here. Part three, my daughter tells me they will make it only if I make and bring my lasagna with me. Fair. When it comes to bagels, there's nothing like St. Viator bagels from Montreal. I order them and they are delivered the next day all the way out here in Alberta, heavenly toasted with cream cheese. Mmm. Yum. 
I used to love Hellman's, but now it doesn't taste like anything like it used to. Now it's best food mayo here in AZ, and I just don't like it. I'm warming up to Duke's. Fair enough. As long as y'all ain't talking about Miracle Whip. And to all 61 people in here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I have to be a responsible channel creator, um, which I'm still learning how to be, and uh, let you know to please hit the like and the dislike. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Check to see that you're still subscribed. And... Um, what else? There's something else. Oh, the notifications bell. Go ahead and tickle my bell and uh, select all so that you get her, uh, you get notifications every single time my random ass decides to go live because I only know when I'm going live about five minutes before I do it. So there's that. Um, and uh, memberships. Memberships are open. I have like 105 members now, 106, I think now. Um, yeah, yeah. Memberships are open. I have one level. It's $2.99. Very low cover charge. Um, you get to see new things before anybody else does. Uh, when it comes to the, the shorter videos, what I just throw on the floor, Band-Aid, hooray. Um, I released the night meds video to members uh, about a day before it was open to the general public. So, you know, it's stuff like that. Plus you get lots of fun little emojis and things to use. So there's that. Super chats are also open. If you feel like contributing and supporting the channel in a way that YouTube doesn't chomp 30% out of my, um, my PayPal, and the Venmo that Denver Steve made me get are down there in the description box, along with my email. So if you have questions, if you have answers, if you have um, a booking for the cruise, if you want to go on the cruise. Susan P., look at you making it rain. It's raining, ma'ams. Hallelujah, it's raining, ma'ams. Amen. Um, I am so happy. Thank you, Susan P. Everybody give the thanks to the, to the Susan P. That's incredible. I appreciate that so much. Um, yeah, we're here. 42, 42, 42. Why is everybody saying 42? 42? What's 42? Oh, the answer. Yes, of course that's the answer to, you know, life, the universe, and everything. That is, 42 is the answer. Yes, you are absolutely correct. If you have any other answers, um, I'm always looking for answers. And if you do want to go on the cruise, um, please let me know. Because we've still got We've still got plenty of cabins left to book. Thank you very much, Christie's Boutique. And uh, can we please stop fighting in the chat? Thank you. That would be nice. I would dig that. Uh, yeah. You know what I really like? You know what I really, really dig? Respect. You know what bothers me? Disrespect. Even for people who aren't here. Rudeness and dishonesty. I think they're pretty basic. 
Now, granted, sometimes people will be disrespectful or rude because Mara, your cruise person has dropped out. Do you mean your roommate? We can get you another roommate. I have a roommate that that I I have a passenger who needs a roommate. If that's what you need, Mara. Yeah, don't make me have to pull this booth over. over. Um, sometimes people will be rude and disrespectful in response to things that they've seen in previous or other podcasts, live streams, or what have you. And uh, I think if that's the case, then you just have to... Hi, Duffsta! Oh, we've got Porpingtons on the way. Um, I think we do have to remember that our actions have consequences. Even if we don't want them to. Even if we think they shouldn't. Words matter. Here's Giz. Giving the stink eye. And here are the Porpingtons. Let's just cleanse with that a little bit. I just showed Gizmo. There's the Porpingtons. We love the Porpingtons. Even when they're not wearing fancy sweater vests and prom dresses and whatnot. We love the Porpingtons. So, words matter. Words matter even when you say them about people who aren't here. So let's please keep that in mind. Thank you. And please don't think that I don't see what's happening. I don't have any mods, but I do see what's happening. We now return you to our regularly scheduled broadcast. R-E-S-P-C-T. Yes. You're welcome, Duffsta. <laughs> yes, the Porpingtons do help make things significantly better. Um, Mara, I have somebody who's looking to go... Um, who is from Maryland. Her name is Trish. She's lovely. I talk about her here frequently. She watches, but she doesn't uh, partake in the chat because she's usually working. She's a hospice nurse and she's usually working. She plays a night med song for her patients. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, yeah, psych sauce. Ah. Can't catch up to anything. This is what I meant. Cheers. Zena Marlene, y'all. And uh, Duff's to Rhymes. Speaking of a voice. You want to talk funny? This woman. This woman is funny. And I was a little bit, came off as a little bit glum or maybe admitted to being a little bit glum a couple of nights ago. And she sang a song for me two different ways about, you know, the... The, the prettiest girl in town, the sweetest, the bonniest lass. Um, 
uh, something as just as pretty as the Bonnie as the Heather in the Dell. But you can't sit beside her for the smell. Because she farts like thunder. <laughs> and then she sang it to me normally. And then she sang it to me a la Marilyn Monroe. It was the first message that I looked at when I had woken up. And I'm really glad I was sitting on the can because I would have wet my pants if I hadn't been. So this one, Lord, so funny. Yes, for her patience, mischief managed. Random cruising question, are most able to deal with food allergies and preferences? Yes, yes, they are. We have to let them know ahead of time, but yes, they do. Uh, memberships did not just start today. Memberships started a few days ago. Uh, just within the last week, they started. Maz talked me into it. I'll let you know, Chow. I'm a retired nurse, too. I need to chill, Rumi, who won't mind me napping during the day. I'm old. Well, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Keep me posted. She's in her 50s. She's a nurse. She's a hospice nurse. Uh, and she's trying and, and studying and taking classes so she can do pediatric oncology nursing at Johns Hopkins. So, yeah. Zena Marlene, man. Sky is in the doghouse again. She ate poo. Ew. And I think if I know Kimberly, like I think I know Kimberly, um, she's going to be having that one for the road, getting ready to rock. I'm a big napper. I'm a night owl. Me too, Mara. Me too. Because, yeah, I think we're going to start winding this bad boy down. We've been going for almost two hours. Good day. Good day, Koala Crafts. That makes three, three, three beautiful Aussies in the jet. Ah, 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 ah. I love it. Are you going to chipmunk speed it? Or since we're getting ready to wrap up, are you just going to go normal, normal speed? Just curious. I ask questions. We love you right back, back, Janet G. And we do have a good time here, don't we? Sky is a dog. I have three. Two Yorkies and a Chihuahua. Nice. Char Michael, you chipmunk when you're late. Fair. That's fair. So you get to hear the night med song when you're late. <sighs> On chipmunk speed. I've heard it's hilarious. Well, y'all. I'm going to wind down. Yo, my laugh is good in chipmunk speed. Nice. Who went pating? Uh huh. Oh, I'm sensing we have more animals. Oh, for heaven's sake. Do you look at this creature? What a cutie. And chipmunk day meds, too? Okay, that shit's got to be funny. She's naughty. That's a naughty pupper. Got you through spreadsheet hell, Kristen Melinda. Yes. I love it. Well, gang. Thank you so much. 
everybody for hanging out with me, for spending time, for talking about nothing but food for another two hours. Okay, well, we talked about some other things. And part of it's my fault because I started with brownies. But either way, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for holding space for each other. Um, thanks for being here, spending time with me. I appreciate it quite a bit. I hope that y'all have a good day, a good night, a good evening. Good evening. We're all going to have one for the road. Zenu. Whoa. Cheers. Be well. Stay safe. Be warm. Rest well. Peace to you.